Bon appétit. Don't wear heels in Lisbon. Good morning, guys. It is now day four, I want to say. Is it day four? Yeah. Oh my god. This goes so quickly. We are up, we are ready. We are gonna do a bit of exploring, but maybe a bit less walking today because someone's legs are very, very sore. We're gonna try and go to this place called Pink Street today because, well, it is what it says on the tin. It's a street that's pink and I just love pink things. So obviously we have to go to that. There's also a really cool food market. So we wanna go there, but we did just have like an all you can eat breakfast, which is what we've been having every morning here. So I might have to wait a little bit before we go there because we don't wanna not make the most of it and outfit of the day today is this zara shirt which i've already worn loads on my vlogs um and then this white h m strapless dress that's kind of like ribbed um it kind of bunches up on me but i still like it i feel like it's quite a a chic little look and then i've just got my trainers on for comfort because that is what we care about But apart from that, we wanted to get like Portuguese food and it was all so good. So yeah, really, really cool now. And the sun has finally come out because it was absolutely yeah. raining cats and dogs before. So we waited yeah. out the rain. Yeah, good, so it's style. a really good place to avoid the rain. So now we're just walking around. I think we're gonna, well, just kind of explore these streets and then we'll probably get a drink in the sun or sit by the like waterfront or something. Um, and get a drink just because it's really really nice so yeah very chilled afternoon but honestly if you come to Lisbon definitely definitely go to those markets yeah. they are unreal
morning guys it is bright and sunny on this thursday i think it's afternoon now we have made our way on the train to kashkai which is the area that has all of the beaches because it's really sunny today and we want to get our tan on and just have a chill so yeah we're just walking around we've literally just got here and we're just walking to the first beach that we see to see what's going on i'm also going to look around the marina and stuff just see what it's all about really we've heard very good things haven't we yeah and here we are at the beach stunning me lol this holiday is that even though like people know we're English like if we're speaking in English to someone we well maybe not me as much but you especially keep putting on like an accent so like someone just asked him to take a picture of, a, of them and Josh was like of course <laughs> <laughs> of course yes <laughs> it's like I don't know why like I don't know why we do it but it's just like you obviously don't want to admit you're English yeah. but like what was it like we were getting some I don't know what we were getting money or something and we were like 50 50 please like we just suddenly go like French and you it's just be too we've literally been doing it the whole holiday and I just don't know why because we are uh, we are not English but we speak English right yeah. you're only too English it's embarrassing <laughs> back in Lisbon now we got the train back from Kashkai and I've just got back to the room Josh is actually at the shop right now getting some drink but I'm gonna go ahead and start getting ready because we have dinner booked at eight so the place you just saw is at, at Kashkai was called I think it was called House of Wonder or something like that it was really really cool like we sat on the rooftop and it was so so nice it's like a fully vegetarian place um so if you're vegetarian if you're going to Kashkai like definitely recommend they had really cool vegetarian um, dishes and stuff but we didn't eat like a proper meal because we knew we were coming back for dinner so I just got like a dessert like creme brulee and we had sangria and I'm not joking it was the nicest sangria I've ever had in my life like I'm gonna say it I'm gonna be bold and say that is the best one I've ever had I also realized that I forgot to update you about our dinner last night last night we managed to go to the restaurant that my friend had recommended that was shut like the day before or two days before and it was so so worth it honestly like we had the nicest time it was like a really small place 
but they have such good food. It's just a mother and son duo, which is just so cute. And um, the mom like cooks everything and then the son kind of like serves and does everything. And it was just honestly the nice experience, like really authentic. The food was amazing and they were just so nice. It's those extra touches. Like he gave Josh like a free beer and like I had nearly finished the bottle of wine. So he just gave me the rest of the bottle, even when I'd only paid for a glass. And then like he gave us like this house wine to try that's like in their family wine and stuff like that. So it was just honestly like such a nice experience. And to be honest, most of the people in there were in there because of word of mouth, because people had told them like you have to go to this restaurant. So yeah, if you come to Lisbon, definitely go to Alfama 63 because it is just honestly the nicest. Um, I'll put their Instagram on the screen. Highly recommend. And tonight we're going to a pasta restaurant. Hallelujah. I know it's not very traditional <laughs> Portuguese, but they do make the pasta fresh apparently. And it just looks stunning. It had all five star reviews. So it's speaking my language. I'm gonna get ready now, sort this mess out. And hopefully next time you see me on camera, I'm gonna look a whole lot better. Oh, it's blurry. Why is it blurry? <laughs> Hello. Why? Why are you not focused? <laughs> why is it not focusing? On our way home. So come after my mom and I saw her. After a snack bar. Yes. We on our way back from the past restaurant. Please, guys. It was good, no? And they have croissants. No? It, it was nice, no? Yeah, it's right. Yes. Right now. Enjoy the pasta. And um, the chef was um, English. Uh, L'Angleterre. Yeah, L'Angleterre. Uh, so that was, that's actually England. Oui. <laughs> he was England. Oui. He was. Uh, the pasta was, how you say, uh, très bien. Uh, oui. Bon appétit. Don't run away from me. Good morning guys, it's Friday, which means it's our last full day in Lisbon, which is sad. So we just went for our COVID test that we need before we go back home. Um, it was actually so, so easy because our hotel had actually partnered up with a pharmacy that's literally across the street. So you can just go get an antigen test for free and it um, like, you can use it to travel back home so that's actually really helpful so just went and did that but oh my god she shoved it up my nose i literally was like squinting like that because it was it felt so weird in my nose my nose still feels weird don't know about yours yeah um, also dinner last night what did you think of it yeah good it was really really nice. nice um the people were so nice and actually one of the chefs was from england which was funny so we had a little chat um but yeah no it was so so good and all the pasta was like freshly made and very nice and like it was really good value for money again like it was so cheap. like a whole bottle of wine was like 11 euros which is just so cheap um and the food was really cheap it was like under 10 pounds each yeah. like for each pasta dish so very highly good. recommend okay. outfit of the day is this skirt which is from h&m i got it in the sale and this is just also from h&m actually also from h&m sale i'm wearing all h&m sales today um so yeah i just thought it was quite chic quite cute something like that <laughs> negative Woo! that was scary but we're all good we can make it home not that we want to go home pretty so I've done a bit of packing um, just because I don't want to have to do it like all in one go tomorrow so I've packed my clothes away and now we're just kind of deciding what to do with the day I can't fit my in the camera but yeah we might kick it off with a drink I mean What's new? Drinks. <laughs> you look so unexcited.
What are we about to try? Pastel. So it's a codfish cake, so it's it's cod and cheese and it's the speciality of Portugal apparently. Go on. Mm. Not as cheesy as we thought. Let's look at the inside. No, the pictures are like cheese. Oh now. yeah, that's nowhere near as cheesy that's as we thought it would be. Had Actually we take it back about the cheese. There's cheese there in the middle. middle. Just needed to get there first. Mmm. I need to try some now. this Zara dress that I've shown in the vlog before very holiday vibes the calves are hurting right now oh yeah by the way don't wear heels in Lisbon it's like a bad idea just don't do that everything up in the background just so that we are like ready to go when we need to check out last night was really cool i can't remember like what we filmed of it but we found this street that was basically like popping off wasn't it it was it was it was like so busy there's so many people there um it was like really good vibe but to be fair like towards the end i was a bit like it's so busy that i don't even know like where to go or like where we even fit um, so we basically like had our meal, which was really nice and really good vibe money again. Then we like went to this place where this guy was singing at the bar and it was really nice. And then we just kind of like walked around and we got these huge cocktails, like literal like buckets. And then, yeah, then we ended up heading back after that, didn't we? Yeah. Yeah, but yeah, very cool street. Do you remember what the area is called? Mm can't remember but we'll put it on the screen because if you're like going out in Lisbon um I recommend going there because it's, it's very good very good vibes lots of stuff going on there was also a really cool drag bar that I really wanted to go in but there was no seats available nothing inside so we couldn't go in annoyingly but that was really cool that was called Manny's Place this morning we're just gonna kind of take a little walk around have our last wander probably get a pastel to Nata because gotta be done um outfit of the day outfit of the final day is just these white shorts from h&m this top from h&m again this striped shirt that i'm obsessed with my trainers and gold jewelry like 25 minutes yeah. safe to say the carts are burning but we did it to come to this viewpoint that we haven't been to yet i'm going to show you the stunning 